Reena Aluvalia's Royal Mysore paintings, acquired by C. Krishna Chetty Crystal Museum, showcase the opulence of the past and the historical legacy of Indian gems and jewellery. Today, we have a very special guest with us, Reena Aluvalia. She is a diamond lover. She is an award-winning Canadian jewellery designer, painter, professor, and digital artist. Reena's work evoke precision, fluidity, and movement. Hi Reena, congratulations on your painting's acquisition by the C. Krishna Chetty Crystal Museum. How do you feel about it? Thank you, Swara. I feel the museum is a perfect place for these paintings. You know, I wanted to paint and record the historically accurate gems and jewels of India on canvas. And I'm truly grateful to Sri Krishna Chetty Crystal Museum and Dr. Vinod Hayakar, who's such a legend and visionary in our uh, gems and jewelry industry to preserve these artworks for future generations. The Royal Mysore paintings stand out from anything we've seen. Your paintings are so detailed, every inch adorned with gemstones and diamonds. Can you share a bit more about them? Oh yes, for sure. The Maharaja and Maharani of Mysore's bodies are Golconda diamond clad and they're wearing historically accurate gems and jewels from the southern Indian kingdoms. The backdrop of the paintings, if you see, are these colossal Burmese ruby and a giant uh, Colombian emerald reminding us of the grandeur of the Darbar Hall of Palace of Mysore. And, but besides the royal portraiture and the historic record, I hope uh, when you look at my paintings, they are a reminder that we too are the Maharajas and the Maharanis of our lives. We are as resilient and luminous as diamonds and gemstones. Thank you so much, Reena. It was good to have you with us and for such a delightful insight.